everyone. Today's featured alumnus is Neil Calder, who was head of the CERN press office from 1989 to 2001, and who, since leaving CERN, has had a very international career. In fact, we're about to link up with him in a rather exotic location. How are you doing in Japan? Hi Rachel, hi fans of CERN. Uh, I'm doing really well. Okinawa, where I work now, is one of the most beautiful places in the world. Neil, you've had a fantastic career since leaving CERN. Where did you go and what did you do? Uh, so from CERN I went to Slack at Stanford University for about seven years. I was Director of, uh, of Communication there. Then I went back to Ida for a year and a half, uh, Head of Communication there. Uh, and since 2011-ish, I have been Vice President here at uh, OIS, the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology Graduate University. What I learned from CERN, which has been totally invaluable for my uh, career, is first working in big international collaborations where you are exposed to different cultures and big projects. Second uh, is we're working on really cool stuff the enjoyment of working on things which make a difference, the secrets of the universe, has stayed with me throughout my career. And third is simply network. The number of amazing people I met at CERN who I have come across time and time again uh, in my career. And it's a kind of really good calling card, the fact you've worked at CERN. So, hey, thanks CERN. Neil will be a member of the CERN alumni community when we launch in June. Neil. What can the CERN Alumni Programme offer you? What I hope is it'll be kind of like a Facebook where I can stay in touch with former colleagues, friends, who I would, would never have contacted. And obviously there are thousands of people in this category. Um, second is maybe some kind of access privilege. The last time I came to CERN, they wouldn't let me in. And this was a little bit disappointing. What you're looking for, you will find in the CERN Alumni Programme. Join us in June.